Kevin, you say we are under attack and have no real defense. Explain. Well, we certainly have no national defense. Listen, Stephanie, I think you nailed it. We are the only developed country in the world that does not have a national response to what people have called a war, and I think is a war. It's attacking all of us. It's attacking every state, every county, every city in this country. Every other developed country in the world, in the Northern Hemisphere, to be sure, has a national strategy of testing, contact tracing, and then quarantining. We don't. 50 states have been left to their own. They've been left to their own to do all of those things. There really is no modern equivalent to what they've been asked to do. Uh, and it's gonna be a real challenge. Obviously, New York, for tragic circumstances, is really out in front on this uh, in terms of trying to figure out how to bring the numbers down, how to test, how to trace, and ultimately how to quarantine. And those are lessons that we're starting here and hoping to share with cities, counties, and states across the country, because without it, I don't think we stand a chance. But take a look at Japan. They had minimal testing, no real national plan, and they fared pretty well. And now they're reopening with what they call their new lifestyle. It's driven mostly by social pressure to follow the rules, something we do not have. Yeah, so Japan's a great example. Uh, Japan has put in a contact tracing system that has actually worked. Um, you know, I think they had 13 deaths on Sunday. The United States had 1,000. Uh, we had 20,000 new cases. They probably had something in the hundreds. Uh, Germany has done essentially the same thing. But understand, they have a national system to try to figure out how they go back to work. Listen, we need to reopen up. We can't stay closed forever. We have to bring people back into society. We have to figure out how to function again. Um, you know, you'll have far worse consequences than a pandemic if ultimately we can't feed people um, or figure out how to lift people out of poverty, figure out how to return them to school. And so other societies have done this. And so Japan is a great example. They have a national system that is figuring out how to go out, figure out who's sick, trace their contacts, quarantine who needs to, test who needs to, and bring people back into society. So they ended their national emergency over the okay. weekend. You know, I really worry that our national emergency is really just beginning. But then, Kevin, how are we possibly going to do that? The president, by design, is not going to create a national plan. Right now, uh, many people mock wearing masks. The president doesn't even do it. So the social pressure won't work because there is no unified message. Yeah, so we have two challenges. Well, we have a constitutional challenge, right, which is we're simply not set up like other countries. We defer a lot of authority to the states. Uh, second of all, listen, clearly we are challenged by the individual that holds that constitutional office. Uh, listen, even in terms of a natural disaster, at least FEMA is standing side by side. At least they have a blue tarp program, which will put something over a house that's lost its roof. At least they're on the ground standing next to a governor or a mayor or a county mayor that needs, needs their help. You don't see that from the CDC. You know, you had Dr. Besser on just now. I, I hear more from former CDC officials on air about what we should be doing than I hear from real CDC officials. And so we have to really help prepare these states to do what they need to do. So Bloomberg Philanthropy is working with Johns Hopkins has de developed a really world leading now uh, uh, online education program to teach people how to do contact tracing in New York, uh, in New York City, the state, and ultimately we hope in Jersey and Connecticut. Uh, Governor Cuomo uh, and Governor Hogan of, of uh, Maryland are expected to actually release that to any governor in the country that wants to use it. We've had 60,000 applicants in New York who have now applied for that course. Uh, the governor okay. has brought over 5,000 people into the country exam and actually passed. We need to get states and cities actually working together now uh, because they're not going to get help. The federal government is not going to be there. And listen, I think we are opening up. You hear that on your air this morning. These cases are going up. The cases are not really going down. 20,000 new cases on Sunday. We've kind of flatlined. As we push back, we should expect these cases to go up and we have to be prepared. Okay, but Kevin, you are doing this contact tracing program. You're doing it in New York, New Jersey, Connecticut. You're working with Maryland. Mike Bloomberg is a philanthropist. He's a private citizen. He's doing this with his own money and uh, you might not like it and neither does he. He's not going to be the next president. Donald Trump is the current president. He doesn't buy into any of these things you're talking about. Can you actually lead this initiative across 50 states as private citizens? No, I don't think it is. I think it's really for governors, county leaders, and mayors to lead this. So we've we've helped facilitate a call of over 200 mayors every single week now as they band together and try to learn from each other. Well, Governor Cuomo has led terrifically, really stepping into a vacuum of figuring out how to lead not only for New York, uh, but for the nation, really how to be a voice for the nation where there really isn't one of common sense, what we need to do and what we should do. Listen, our job is to support that. 
Uh, fortunately, listen, Mike Bloomberg has been very supportive of uh, Johns Hopkins in Baltimore. They have the best school of uh, public health in the country. Uh, they've developed a curriculum now that any state can use. That's only one part of what actually has to happen. States and cities need to learn from each other, band together. Listen, in some ways, it's it's sort of like you have a continental army. You know, each of these states is now basically raising its own militia to fight this war. There is no national defense. Uh, the president clearly isn't going to present it. In fact, doing quite the opposite. He's trying to push people. You know, I, I almost feel like I'm watching a Gallipoli movie with the president throwing American citizens in front of the guns. Uh, it's a terrible thing to watch, which is why I think these governors and mayors and county leaders have to work even harder to keep their citizens safe. Why do you think the president is doing this? Because it puts these governors and mayors in a situation where their own uh, uh, citizens are fighting back. You've seen the images of street parties and pool parties. Yeah, listen, I, I listen. I think the president is doing a crass political move because he cares about, you know, uh, getting reelected. I think he's focused on six states, as I've always said, and swing voters in those states. There is a, a, an incredible. How does this help him get reelected in those states? Listen, there are a lot of people out there that are really frustrated that they're at home. They're not sick. They're not dying. Um, they want to open up their bars. They want to open up their restaurants. They want to go back to their job. I think we have to understand that frustration. The issue is not that that's not a legitimate concern. It is the most legitimate concern. The question is, how do we allow them to do that safely, as you said, as Japan has done, as Germany has done, as China is doing? And I think this president has a total disregard for what has to happen to keep them safe. I think he's just playing to the sort of rawest of emotions of people wanting to get back and blaming anyone else he can. Uh, instead of trying to provide that national defense, and instead of having CDC officials standing next to mayors and governors around the country and trying to help them. For the life of me, I can't figure out why there's not a briefing every morning out of Atlanta at CDC headquarters telling what's going on. Why does Bloomberg Philanthropies has to, we have to develop a curriculum? Should the national government do that? Isn't that, that something that should be giving to the states to help them figure out contact tracing? Contact tracing is working in every other country, every other developed country in the world at a national level of the United States, full stop. Why the federal government isn't doing that then we have to step in is an outrage. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.